Let's simplify the fraction 4 6. Here's what we're doing. We're trying to find another fraction that's equal to 4 divided by 6, has the same value as 4 divided by 6, but it's just in lowest terms. To do that, we need to find a common factor, something that goes into 4 and 6. So here are the factors for 4 and 6. So we're looking for the greatest common factor between 4 and 6. And I see the greatest common factor, that's going to be 2. So what we'll do is we'll divide 4 by 2 and 6 by 2, and we'll simplify the fraction 4 6. Let's move this over here. So 4 divided by 2, that's just 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we've simplified the fraction 4 6 down to 2 thirds. We can't reduce this any further. If you divide 2 by 3 and 4 by 6, you'll get the same decimal answer. They're equivalent fractions. We've just simplified or reduced 4 6 down to 2 thirds. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.